y'all, what's up? Welcome back. So I came up with an idea for a video and I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted to see it and you guys were like, absolutely. And it is obviously by the title, like my wedding planning, like fails or stressors or things that I just suck at or just ultimately my wedding planning struggles. And I actually came up with this video idea because a friend was talking to me recently and she was just like, your wedding planning experience has been so different than mine. It's been so perfect. And your wedding is just gonna be so perfect. And I was like, no, <laughs> it's been very stressful, very frustrating, very complicated. But I always am trying to like project positivity into the world. And I try to be as positive as I possibly can. And sometimes um, it comes off like everything's just perfect and go lucky and happy. And that's just not the case. And so I'm sharing this video just to kind of you know, share, maybe you guys are having some wedding planning struggles and you can help me get through my struggles if you've been through it. Some of them are minor, some of them are, you know, a little more frustrating, but I just felt, you know, maybe you guys, I could share it with you so you could see that wedding planning isn't all roses and daisies and candy. It's, it's a little annoying, but um, before we get into the video, make sure to go below and click the subscribe button. It's all right down there. I will go ahead and link my previous wedding planning video up here um, for you guys to watch. So make sure you check that out too. Give this video a thumbs up if you like wedding series and let's just get into the video. So I've had a pretty good wedding planning experience so far. Um, I do have a list of the things I'm going to talk about with you guys here. So if you see me looking down, that's what I'm looking at. But I have had a pretty good wedding planning experience. Um, we'll be six months away from the wedding next Sunday, I believe. And I got engaged on December 3rd, 2016. So we're gonna have about a year and a half of an engagement time. And that has really helped me put a lot of things into perspective because I'm able to like, something that would stress me out if I had six months to plan a wedding, I can sit there and say, you know, okay, this doesn't matter. It's not a huge deal at the end of the day. You know, at the end of May 26th, if I'm married to Sam, I consider that a success. And so um, I've been pretty good at like keeping positive, but recently I've just been like so frustrated about the little things and they are these. So I have thought about my wedding since I was a little girl. And the main things that I thought of obviously were my dress, who I'd marry, like would I cry, what song I'd walk down the aisle to, and things like that, but I never thought about other details like picking a cake. Okay, shout out to the brides who know what kind of cake they want because I literally picked my cake like 20 minutes before we had the cake tasting test. I struggle with like anything food related with the wedding because I'm making a decision on what other people are gonna be eating. And so I was struggling with like what kind of cake is popular. And you know, I mean, cause I go to a wedding and I wanna eat me some cake. And if you got some weird like raspberry lemonade fusion fizz, like I'm just like, what is that? I don't want to eat it. Like don't. So I, you know, I go to weddings to get me some cake. It's always like, well, should I do buttercream? Well, should I do red velvet? Well, what should I do with my cake? What should it look like? Will people like this? Will people like that? Blah, 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 blah. Should I do flowers? Should I do? And it just turned into this whole big thing. And like, luckily I did find a cake that I liked. Um, my fiance was kind of more in charge of the cake. I like idea of what flavors he wanted and stuff like that. But picking a cake y'all was so hard for me. I probably looked through a thousand pictures on Pinterest and finally I looked at the bridesmaid and I was like, will you please pick my wedding cake? And she was like, nope girl, that's on you. Oh, picking a cake was so stressful because I just, I literally don't, I don't care. Something's gonna stick in their mouth and swallow. Why is it a big deal? The next thing is picking food. Just like I said, I just struggle picking something that somebody else is gonna eat. Now my caterer did make it easy because my caterer is amazing. And so she was just like, look, here's all the eight options that are most popular for weddings, pick one. And I was like, well, that's eight options. That's a lot. And usually I don't struggle with picking, but when it comes to some things like food, I'm like, ooh. And she was like, yeah, just well, these three are the most popular. And I was like, okay, that one makes more sense for a, a May wedding, let's do that one. And that was easy, but picking food was, that was a struggle. <laughs> also because my caterer is so amazing and every single thing that they feature and offer is like so good and so yummy like when I went to the tasting I was like they want me to pick a, a section like I don't I don't think that's I don't think that's something I'll be able to do because the caterer is amazing but pick a food been a wedding struggle you guys I'm real don't worry so deciding on my wedding bands why can I not pick a wedding band? I have such strong opinions about fashion, about jewelry, about my hair, about everything. 
and I, you know, had such a strong opinion about my dress and such a strong opinion about my bridesmaid's dresses and such a strong opinion about all this stuff. And then when it comes to wedding bands, I'm like, I don't know. Um, picking wedding bands has been a struggle. I went this past weekend or two weekends ago, looked at wedding bands, found like six that I liked, could not decide. I just, I like everything. And so ultimately I think I'm going to leave that up to my fiance. And I know some people are probably still like, that's not a struggle, you know, for you to think that like picking a wedding band's hard, but that's something you're going to wear for the rest of your life. You need to like it. And it also needs to be good quality. And like, he just did so good with picking my engagement ring that I'm just going to leave it up to him because Y'all, I'm clueless, okay? I am clueless. No idea. Picking my ceremony decorations is probably one of the more difficult things just in like the entire wedding planning process. I mean, let's just be honest, okay? We about to get really real. Let's just, let's talk for a sec. Genuinely, what is the last wedding that you went to that you remember a a detail about the ceremony. <laughs> you guys, I can't. I literally have been to weddings and like three days later, I would swear to you up one side and down the next, they didn't even have flowers and they would be like covered in flowers. Like I just, I think we as like wedding guests just look at like a whole picture and we're like, okay, wow, the whole picture's pretty. But you're, you're not like, okay, that one flower is not right. Oh, she has, she has purple flowers or her color's purple. Like, I just, and I'm trying so hard to think like big picture, not little things with wedding planning. And it has made me clueless. I literally don't even know what I want for my ceremony decor. So far I know what we're putting, like they have shepherd's hooks, like going down the aisle. And I know that we're doing like what we're doing on the shepherd's hooks. That's it. I ain't got no other clue. None. Now my menu is beautiful, but I don't know what I'm doing. You guys, <laughs> me. A designer, me, who literally can make a decision like that, can pick anything like that. Wedding, ceremony decorations? What? What you talking about, Willis? Why? I don't know. I can't figure them out. So um, stay tuned to see if I actually do have any ceremony decorations because right now we're just looking at shepherd's hooks. Y'all really like, help me. <laughs> The two biggest wedding planning struggles I have had, these are like legit struggles. I think if you're a bride, you totally understand. Everybody wants to throw their opinions at you. And so the two things that have been the biggest struggle were releasing that we are having a formal wedding and no children at our wedding. Um, those two things have been like such a struggle. And I feel like this video was supposed to be like cute and funny and now it's like just turned into a venting session. But... Sam and I are getting married in an old southern plantation style home. It is, oh my god, just the most gorgeous place I've ever been in my life. And it's just the most gorgeous wedding venue. And everything is old and glamorous and beautiful. And it's this gorgeous big white house. And it's got this gorgeous green grass. And it's very formal layout. And my dress is very formal and his suit's very formal and we're getting married late in the evening and we're having a sit down dinner. And so I just, I personally wanted the wedding to be almost what would technically be black tie optional. But when I told people that, they were like, what the heck does that mean? And one person actually was like, so they have to wear black ties? Just don't even get me started on that one. What I mean when I say formal is almost like a semi-formal or black tie optional. And so everything else is like fancy and I just don't want people to like show up in jeans at my wedding. Now, if I was getting married like at a barn situation, totally different. You better wear some jeans and make sure that your butt looks cute, okay? Like jeans are appropriate in certain wedding settings, especially in the South. If you're getting married somewhere that's a little bit fancier, you know, maybe just do like a semi-formal attire. But like knowing where I'm getting married, an old plantation home, I feel that formal weddings would be the best idea for any weddings there. And that's, I, I just don't think that jeans or like khaki shorts are appropriate for men to wear to this venue. So it, it's not necessarily like tux. I think that's just what I'm trying to say is it's not like tuxedo. It's like suit or just like dark pants and a nice shirt or, you know, nice pants and a button up with a tie or something like that for men. And then for women, it's like 
a long simple gown or like a very short fancy gown um, and I just ah uh, I just it's very frustrating so moving on the last thing that's been the biggest struggle for me that I really share with you guys who can relate is we are not having children at our wedding um, for many 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 reasons Sam and I love children we want children of our own um, he has three younger brothers and they are going to obviously be in attendance I would never keep them from that day but um, that's pretty much it I've never been to a wedding where kids didn't like get crazy and start tearing things up because kids get bored um, at, especially at a formal sit down wedding like I could feel like a child is really going to be bored there um, that was one of the reasons. Another reason is we're having an open bar. I am not comfortable with having children running around when there's an open bar. Sam isn't comfortable having children running around when there's an open bar. Um, many people have said that. And then there's some parents who are like, well, I don't care, but I do. I just don't think it's appropriate. And like, I want to cut back and let loose on my wedding day and have fun. And I feel like it's there. I just don't think that that's something that kids should ever see. And so third, biggest hugest most like obvious reason is because my parents are paying for the entire wedding and pretty much it's kind of gotten a little bit more expensive here and there and there and we're up to a pretty i mean it's expensive weddings are expensive and you have to pay like per head when you do weddings um if you're a bride you know that and so i guess i don't want my parents to have to pay that money for children like because if we invited every kid that we no would definitely come to our wedding. We're talking like 13, 14 kids. That's a lot of money on children who probably won't eat the food. They probably won't stay that long. They won't have any fun. And if you get over a certain number of people at my venue, you have to rent porter potties. Y'all, I ain't doing that. I'm not renting porter potties, okay? No. And so to keep my number down and to be able to have more friends and family who can enjoy that time with us, Sam and I have had to make the decision. Um, and we both agreed very strongly from the very beginning of our engagement that children would not be allowed. And like I said, we love children with our whole hearts and we love the kids that are in our family. And while we do, you know, in a small way, wish that they would be there, we know that they're not gonna remember it. They're probably gonna be miserable the whole time. And I don't want to rip port potties for my wedding. That's just so daggy. Oh. And I just, I really feel like this was supposed to be a cute, funny video. And now it just turned into me venting about my wedding planning struggles. But I mean, I feel like this is something I gotta share with you guys. Cause truly, my friend was like, no, your wedding planning looks like it's going to be the best, it's the best experience ever. And I'm like, girl, I don't like it that much. It's not that fun. It's not that stressful, but it's pretty, it's gonna be frustrating at times. At the end of the day, on May 26th, 2018, if I am married to the love of my life, I get to call myself his wife and I get to call him my husband. I have won. The flowers can be wrong. The food can be wrong. Someone can trip walking down the aisle. But as long as I'm married to him, that's all that matters. And that's what I want you guys to know. It doesn't matter whether your wedding, wedding planning is the best thing in the entire world or the worst thing in the entire world. At the end of the day, you're going to be married. And that in itself is just the best. So that is all for you guys. I hope that you brides can really relate to me and understand that uh, wedding planning can be a struggle, but it is going to be worth it in the end. As always, I love you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching and letting me just vent to you guys. You know what? Like this video if you are a bride and are having some wedding planning struggles or if you've been a bride and have had the struggles. Like this video. Let me know in the comments below. I love you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.